Hi everyone, this is Kat of Homeschooling VNZ and with me is our Bunso. For uh, today's video, we are going to share with you our work boxes. Ano bang laman ng aming work boxes? Para saan ba ito? Ano ba ito? And how does it help us in our homeschool journey? So if you'd like to know more about work boxes, you really love me, don't you? follow a workbox system. Uh, itong workbox system kasi ito ay isang sistema kung saan uh, yung mga materials, yung mga activities na gagawin ng isang bata ay nakadesignate na sa bawat isang box. So, um, if you have seen other YouTube videos, yung mga ginagamit na workbox ng ibang homeschoolers, especially in the US, uh, iba't ibang colors, yung drawers nila. So, uh, meron rin naman tayong ganun dito. Meron ganun trolley sa True Value. And it's 2,000 plus yung presyo niya. Medyo pricey. Uh, and I almost bought one. Buti na lang, wala na akong space sa bahay na paglalagyan. Kaya hindi na ako bumili. So, nakatipid ako. Yay! Um, uh, previously, just a little background. Previously, um, ang ginagawa ko is um, Harap. Ang ginagawa ko is, <clears throat> meron talaga akong literal na box. So, meron ako isang plas plastic box na nandoon yung mga um, activities or lessons namin for the day. So, andun yung crayons, andun yung lapis, andun yung worksheet. Uh, it's either textbook, workbook, or storybook na gagawin namin. Any experiment that we may have, nilalagay ko dun sa isang box. So, on a daily basis, pinapalitan ko yung laman nun. So, for V, my grade 2, he is a good reader na. Magaling na siya magbasa. Kaya, um, I encourage him to to study on his own. He reads his lesson on his own. And if there are questions, meron siyang hindi naitindihan, he asks me. So, para mas maging, ano siya, yung matrain siya na maging independent learner. So, this year, uh, I made sure talaga na um, we continue with the work box system. And since we're have two, we have two students now, <laughs> we have two students now, um, and a lot of subjects, nine subjects for my grade two, I've decided na wag nala na isang box ang gagamitin to be used na katulad ng ginagawa na iba, using drawers. Okay, so I have uh, a five, five drawer na lalagyan. I got this from SM for 520 pesos. And since we have, um, we only do three subjects in a day for my grade two, um, I've divided the boxes. Uh, one for me, the topmost drawer. Uh, the the second, the third, and the fourth drawers is for my grade two para do sa three subjects niya for the day. And then the last drawer is for my toddler. So what we do is, um, I have a whiteboard na nilalagay ko doon lahat ng activities namin for the day. For example, okay, for today, uh, this is Matty has to read this, these pages. He has to answer these worksheets. So, nilalagay ko yun doon. So, tatlong subjects yung nakalagay doon sa, sa whiteboard. So, for my grade 2, yun ang nilalagay ko sa whiteboard. For the tod, for the preschool, pre-K, my 2-year-old, hindi, hindi ko na nilalagay sa word, whiteboard. Yun. So, naka-divide na siya in, into the drawers and then he um, he gets it. Uh, I make him decide kasi sa iba ginagawa nila may labeling, may number kung ano yung una nilang gagawin na trabaho for the day. But for me, kasi I involved my son in the decision-making skills. So, it's really up to him which subjects he's going to do first. Yun. Basta ang rule ko lang is that he finishes everything, all the lessons, all the activities, within the day before he can probably watch TV or go to the playground or play. Yun. So, yun na naman yung rule ko sa kanya. And it really helps him na maging independent learner. So, gagawin lang niya. He pull out na yung drawer. Okay, ito ang una kong gagawin for today. And he reads the whiteboard and in pages. And then he does his work. And after that, when he's done, babalik na lang niya sa drawer. And then I'll check a really great system for us, for our own family. Uh, it really helps in um, organizing the things that we need to do, the things that we need to complete for the day. And 
I'll leave you guys now with some clips on uh, mga laman ng aming work box for the day of uh, Monday and Tuesday. So, thank you again for watching and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye! So, this is our board. Nakalagay dito kung ano yung gagawin namin para kukunin na lang niya sa, sa drawer, sa workbox, yung mga materials and then he'll read here kung ano yung mga dapat niyang gawin. And since we are taking three subjects per day, um, inalat ko yung tatlong drawers para kay V na grade 2. And then yung pinakadulo sa baba is yung kay, kay Z. Ayan. At the topmost drawer, um, ginawa ko lang to para mas madali para sa akin. So here, um, andito yung mga turnip out ko na, na mga worksheets or any materials na kailangan namin for the week. And dito rin yung aking lesson plans. And then some items na kailangan ko ilagay sa um, like this one worksheet na to. Kailangan ko ilagay sa portfolio and kailangan ko i-record yung read sa activity na yun. Ayan. And some extra pens. Ayan. Sin siya. Ito. Meron siyang card na ginawa for, for values education. Yeah, so for today, uh, we are taking uh, tapo na. So we took English, Legion, and Civica kanina umaga. So here for Civica, ito, um, ito, may nagka dito dito. Yung isang worksheet, ito para for English to. And then here, this is Religion. Uh, we use uh, a pre-love, actually pre-love rin yung textbook. Pre-love textbook. So, ito muna ginagamit namin. We also have the, uh, ano nga ba isang curriculum namin? Life pack. Yan, for grade 2. Um, gagamitin rin namin yun. And then, for English, this is also a pre-love textbook. So, na-answer na niya. Okay. And then, lastly, for the toddler, May 2-year-old, soon to be 3. At yung activity niya kanina. Uh, matching of uh, big popsicle. Ay, magbuksan. Colors. Kasi, uh, I want her to focus on colors muna. Before counting. And ABCs. And ABCs, yes. So, ayan. So, we still have here. Uh, uh her notebook, Sophia notebook, and the stickers. So, kukuha lang siya ng sticker for fine motor skills, and then pre-paste niya dito sa notebook. Yan, ganyan ginagawa niya. And then later, we will read the book, Curious George Goes Fishing. Yan, so, that's our workbox for today. Good morning! So, for today, ito ang amin gagawin sa uh, math, Filipino, and MAPE. Actually, music and art for today's MAPE. So, down here sa aking computer table, andito yung aking um, base 10 blocks for math. And then, yung aming work box. So, today is Tuesday. Uh, we have here yung math book. So, we're going to study oh, counting forward and counting backward. And then, uh, pag may time pa, copy work kami in English. And then, we also have Filipino. Uh, merong 16 na um, pagsasanay or exercises yung lesson for today, for this week. So, half lang lang gagawin namin for today. So, that's our bingi book. Then, here, uh, meron akong pen, uh, extra paper for... Um, an activity on arts later. So, for MAPI for today, we are going to touch on music and arts. And then, sa Thursday naman yung PE and health. And then, lastly, for our toddler, we have here um, insect. Okay, never mind the insect, anak. And then, here, down here, we have the, again, butterfly puzzle cards. And then, some stickers. And of course, her notebook, kung saan niya nilalikit yung sticker niya. We have our crayon. And then again, Curious George, uh, read aloud for today.